Hey folks, it's Jeff again. I'm uh, just wanting to take our next step, kind of talk about our next step here, which is the full electroplane process. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more of uh, more intense videos this this time around, um, <laughs> a little bit uh, more in depth and kind of talk more detail about the process. Um, so this is kind of our test ones that we had been working on. Now, these unfortunately are not going to be ones we're going to end up using. Uh, not because, not just because uh, of the thickness that had been produced. This is a fairly good thickness, but the gauge needs to be a lot. Th it, it just does need to be a little bit uh, thicker, I think. Um, so we're going to actually make. Uh, uh, we're going to start electroplating some new ones tonight. And uh, th one of the other reasons why we're not using this one is because I realized I never sculpted a flange onto the legs half, of, on the legs quarter. And that is something that I found would be a better means of security for these things. So um, this is going to be kind of what a near end product is going to look like. Uh, of course we are going to burn it off, uh, burn off the uh, the uh, excess wax that's in there. You see it's still all the way filled up with wax in there. Um, so there, so there are going to be some steps that still need to be taken and we'll be continuing that process as it goes along tonight. So that's another thing we have to be careful of. Yeah, it's so neat. I bet it would look really neat in the dark and everything. So, this heat that we're putting on it, will that, will that take out any of the porousness of it? 
know, not really. Hmm. But we got to get the wax all burned out of it, make sure that that's all gone. Right. It's a shell of its former self now. Okay, go ahead. Careful now. Ooh, look at that. It is not, there's nothing in there. Yeah. It's all gone. And there you have it. That's how that's how it, uh, a cavity is made. Of course, we're going to be doing a little more with it as time goes along. We're going to we're actually going to redo some more, make some more cavities, uh, probably of even better quality now because we'll be using new materials and fresh uh, uh, copper sulfate and acid, and we'll be ready to go. So this was another one of those uh, trial and error situations where the uh, this is another example of why we weren't able to use this specific cavity that we made. Uh, when we had originally put this together, we painted, we were using some pretty old uh, bronze spray and it just didn't have the strong enough uh, coatings strong enough even enough coat even enough coatings to be able to uh, uh, keep everything together properly so uh, the <laughs> the pore spouts actually broke off quite easily and if you look in here you can actually see where the lights shining through so this is I mean at the end of the day they did hollow out pretty well and they uh, provide as some neat looking cavities, some neat negatives uh, to create those positives. Unfortunately, that they won't be able to be used in this situation. But have no fear. Like I said before, we have a whole bunch more fresh material. Uh, so we're going to be using silver uh, paint, some paint on silver uh, paint. Uh, we're going to do two coats of that. We have some fresh copper sulfate, some fresh, uh, some, some fresh acid. Everything that we'll need to make sure that this next step, the most important step of all, the electroplating, is going to work out. In the meantime, I got a cool copper version of King Liger. How about it? How about it? <laughs>